How's it going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough. Welcome to another sneaker review with me today. Before we get started, if you do like the videos I'm posting, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It lets me know that you like my content, uh, that I'm doing a good job. And if you drop a comment, that's even better. Uh, I really appreciate the comments. I definitely like to be interactive with you guys. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into the sneakers. This sneaker, I am extremely excited to unbox for you guys. And I'll give you some on foot looks as well. Uh, a little bit later in the video, but you know, it all started back in 2011, 2012 with the LeBron 9. And what I have inside this box is a sneaker that is possibly as close as I'll ever get to that LeBron 9. And if you haven't figured it out already, this is the LeBron 16 Watch the Throne or King's Throne as they're, they've changed the name. Let's go ahead and check out the shoes. Outer side of the box, you've got a gloss Nike swoosh. On the top of the box, you've got the LJ logo with the Dunk Man in the center, which is embossed. LeBron 16 in gloss. So the box is pretty basic, honestly. Um, you do have the old school line on this side, which is pretty cool in gloss as well. On the front, it says LeBron 16 KC. So black. Metallic gold and rose frost are the colors. My size, men's 11 and a half in LeBron's. Here's my receipt. I think there was some discrepancy with the pricing. They are 185 with tax here in Atlanta. They came out to 201. Okay, enough about the box and the receipt. When you open up the box, you're gonna find this little note. Okay, and I honestly thought it's just a bunch of fine print, you know, like you get in some of the releases. Um, but actually what it says is, these shoes have been created in limited quantities and are intended to be collectibles. Lace lock is for casual wear only. Please remove prior to active play. Thank you. Um, as far as shoes that I've collected, I've never seen them put a thing in like that that says these shoes have been created in limited quantities and are intended to be collectibles. I've never seen that before. So that's pretty interesting that they would include that uh, in the box. But I don't know if that's going to affect the value. It, it may. Now when Nike says lace lock, I'm guessing that they mean these. Bam. Starting with the outsole, you've got this semi-translucent icy blue outsole which glows in the dark. On the front you've got the old LJ crown logo which is super dope to me. One of my favorite LeBron logos of his career. Then here on the back you've got this gold dunk man on his leg right here which you guys tell me I don't have any other LeBron 16s right now but it says history on his leg I don't know if they put that on all of them but that's what it says it's in really small font it's really hard to see you've got a matte black foam midsole with that gold speckled paint all the way around and onto the medial side of the foot as well which looks incredible. I've always been a fan of black and gold, so anytime they really drop a black and gold LeBron especially, um, I've always been a fan of those. On the upper, you've got this black battle knit, which looks really, really nice, just all black on the upper with a gold swoosh on the lateral as well as the medial side of the foot. For added durability, they've reinforced the toe as well. On the heel, you've got this carbon fiber pattern, but this is actually a woven material. Here's a small detail that some people might miss. Uh, this actual piece right here, the pull tab with this little diamond shape, that's from the LeBron 9. So it actually says nine on the pull tab. 
it is so cool to me that Nike carried this over onto this sneaker in particular. They definitely could have left this off or went with something else, but to add in that detail is really, really nice to me. I'm, I'm definitely glad they did that. You've got the old LJ crown logo on the lace. There's a close up of the insole. You get that same crown LJ logo that they used to put in the nines. And this is so nostalgic to me. Uh, you know, I had a bunch of pair of LeBron nines. This was a logo that I really, really liked at the time. I traced it out um, and spray painted it onto a storage box that I would keep sneaker stuff in at the time. So this is just a really cool logo to me. And you know, them carrying it over in so many different ways, you know, for this sneaker, really putting thought into the sneaker um, is what I appreciate. I appreciate sneakers with stories and I appreciate sneakers that uh, give me some type of memory or some type of feeling. These are the lace locks. Haven't opened them yet. Oh, they actually come, so they come wrapped twice. The weight of these is pretty decent. It's, I would say it's definitely got some metal in it, but you know, a lot of it is plastic too. Um, and you've got this really nice metallic gold finish on them. So they did not include that WTT down the center, like the sample pair on the LeBron 9. Up top, you've got an LJ for LeBron James. Regardless, these are super cool. Then you've got the holes on the side to weave the laces through so you can lock them in place. Lacing this sneaker is definitely a process, it's not fast like some other basketball sneakers, but the lace lock looks pretty sick on the shoe. Let's go ahead and throw them on foot. Okay guys, so here goes my honest opinion. So I think the lacing system sucks. It's very difficult in my opinion to pull the laces out like this. Look, they don't come out easily, okay? So to put the lace locks on, you know, if you wanna put them all the way at the bottom, it's probably gonna take you a minute um, because they're not easy to pull through this battle knit. But the one positive I will say is the way this tongue functions. These shoes are very easy to put on and take off. So that part is probably more important to me than the lacing system. As far as fit goes, guys, I went true to size and they fit me perfect. Um, even though you might not be able to try on this colorway, I definitely recommend going to the mall, going to your local sneaker store, try on another color of the LeBron 16 before you purchase these, just to make sure you get the right size. But for me, I went true to size and they fit perfect. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you were able to pick up a pair of these LeBrons or if you got any other sneakers from All-Star Weekend. Um, so far I got these and then I got the Adapt BBs as well, which this is my third day wearing them. And they're so comfortable. Um, if you haven't watched my video on that, I'll put a link in the description below. And I do have a few others coming in the mail. so. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. And I appreciate it. Thanks, guys.